I was in Bank of America two weeks ago, and this is true. I went to deposit a check, deposit a check, and they asked me for ID. I go, are you telling me other people are trying to put money in my account and you're telling them no? I'm, it's me, I'm me. I, I made a large deposit, so the supervisor came up to me and said, I have good news for you. I said, did Israel attack Iran? <laughs> she, said, she said, no. I said, it was my wife hit by a bus, okay? <laughs> we have a policy. I go, what's the good news? I called her toots because I made a large deposit. She goes, after this deposit, you are now a platinum member at Bank of America. And I'm not trying to talk down to you guys, even though I'm at a whole nother level. <laughs> you know? I, I said, what is that in title? She said, we raise your interest rate. I said, to what? She started off with point. That's where she lost me. She said, we raise your interest rate to point 45%. I go, do the platinum members get towels? I, I think I just came all over my leg, okay? Is there a platinum member cum cleaner? Uh, 0.45%. When my six-year-old was born, I put $5,000 into her college fund. By the time she goes to college, she'll have $5,012. And, people, like people that work behind the counters in hotels, just the ones behind the counter, are probably uh, the dumbest human beings on the planet. Uh, not all the employees, and not here, but everywhere else. Like, the people that work behind the counter are the people McDonald's said, eh, nah, uh, you're not right. Uh, I was in a hotel recently and my, my coffee pot didn't work, no big deal. I go to the front desk, I go to the guy, excuse me, my coffee pot doesn't work. He said, did you plug it in? <laughs> really? No, I, I thought it was a pull start. I, uh, <laughs> the, the conversation should have been, uh, my. My coffee pot doesn't work. He says, okay, I'll send you another one, that's it. Then he says it's not dripping. Probably why it's not working. He said, what do you think is wrong? Well, when I took the back panel off, I, uh, I noticed a fan belt by the percolator was snapped. I'll, I'll tell you what's wrong, there's no fucking coffee in the pot, okay? If I want a cup of make-believe, then there's nothing wrong. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm at a hotel in Cleveland, it's a true story. I lock my keys in the room. I lock my, so I go to the front desk, I go to the lady, excuse me, I lock my keys in the room. And she said, your car keys? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm telling everybody. Uh, I, I also locked the bed, the dresser. <laughs> I, the next morning I call the front desk I go how do you get to the airport and she said from where uh, a small village outside of Istanbul no guy your girl will never leave you I don't care if she's a supermodel all you got to do is find her weakness her insecurity and, and, and then you swoop in and take advantage of it listen to me Say, say you're with a girl and she thinks her hand is just a little too big. You have to really make her believe, bitch, you got the biggest hand on the planet. You're lucky I'm fucking you with that frying pan hand. Nobody else is gonna fuck you with that gargantuan hand. But I love you for who you are. Although you did deceive me when I first met you and you waved with your good hand. And then you got out of the car and I thought you were dragging a raft. <laughs> Listen, my wife, my wife got the flattest ass on the planet, for real. When I fuck her from behind, I feel like I'm fucking Jackie Chan's face. Uh, uh, we had, uh, we had sex, the, we had sex the other night. It, it was her time in a, it was her time in a month. I love having sex with her when it's her time of the month. This way I can pretend I'm murdering her. 
I, I couldn't even look at you guys when I said that. I don't really give a shit about anything outside a 10-foot radius and me. That's all I'm saying. I really don't. Like, if somebody came and dropped a baby on the ground, I go, fuck it, that's 12 feet away. Uh, may, somebody kicks it three feet, I might pick it up. Uh, I'm just not dealing with it. It's, it's outside my radius. Uh, Cause it's a terrible, but it's true. I don't give a shit. Why should I? Listen, here's the deal. You don't give a shit about... Here's the deal. We don't... Like, during a natural disaster, everybody's like, oh, that's... You know, we start sending money to ease our conscience about all the bullshit we've done in life. Oh. Like, they, they had a... In, in, in the Philippines, I guess, a, a typhoon, which is fucking bad. Like, it's not a... Hur a typhoon is like... Like, oh shit, you know what I mean? Like a hurricane, I, fucking I'll, I'll hang out in the backyard. <laughs> but a typhoon is like the, you know, the rattlesnake of snakes for weather. Uh, I don't know if that's a good comparison. Maybe the herd is. Uh, so that's not a good barometer if she's the only one laughing. Uh, but what I'm saying is, here's what I'm saying. Like, so the Philippines, you send money, but nobody, like, nobody was sending money to the Philippines two months before the hurricane. <laughs> Nobody's like, hey, like, if I said to my wife, oh, you know what, I'm gonna send some money over to the Philippines. She, she, the first thing on her mind is like, did you order a young boy? Like, why? <laughs> I go to Walmart when I have low self-esteem. <laughs> I'm feeling bad about myself. And I walk around Walmart and I point and go, at least I'm not him. <laughs> and I pray I don't see anybody pointing back at me. <laughs> There's some, there's like, Walmart has a lot of mutants there. <laughs> but here's the deal. You gotta stick with me. Here's the deal. There's a lot of mutants, but every now and then you'll see like a real, real like hot girl there. And I'm sure girls will see like a hot dude. And you'll see like a real hot girl out of a, out of a sea of mutants. Like, wow, <laughs> holy, look at this. And she's like, you know, glowing like Jesus, you know what I mean? I mean, there's always one little thing wrong with her, though. You know, like she walks like she has a wooden leg. But it was just a fucking splinter that got infected as a kid and her family forgot to fix it because they were renters, right? <laughs> so you have her back at your hotel and you're trying to fuck her and her dead leg keeps falling off the bed and you're like, can you lift that spaghetti leg back on the bed so I can keep my shit hard, okay? Or you'll see like... <laughs> You'll see like a real hot girl and then she'll turn her face and her eyelid will have like too much extra skin in it. <laughs> and like when it, when it's close, it looks like a bunched up curtain, right? So you're, you're fucking her and all you're thinking is, damn, if you could just keep your goddamn Forrest Whitaker eye open, 